Tara Reid, Hollywood's Once It Girl, has been in the spotlight since the tender age of six. While she has been quite open about her various procedures, it's not often that we hear about the dark side of cosmetic surgery. Unfortunately, Tara has fallen victim to multiple botched surgeries that not only left her embarrassed, but also led her to believe that they were the reason for her career downfall. We all know Tara from her role as Vicky in the Unforgettable American Pie series. However, she wasn't just known for her sweet and endearing character in our favorite teen classic. She also graced the silver screen in films like Van Wilder, Urban Legend, The Big Lebowski, Cruel Intentions, Josie and the Pussycats, and of course, the cult favorite, Sharknado. Growing up in New Jersey with her four siblings, Tara attended prep school, which catered to young aspiring actors and dancers. The professional children's school was also home to fellow actors Sarah Michelle Gellar and Macaulay Culkin. Her first appearance on the big screen was at the age of six in the game show Child's Play. She went on to appear in several commercials and even graced the daytime soap opera Days of Our Lives in 1995. But it was her debut in 1987 movie Return to Salem's Lot that catapulted her into the big leagues. Tara was always known as the beautiful, slim, blonde bombshell of the late 90s and early 2000s. I won't deny that I dreamed of looking like her when I grew up. Young girls idolized her bikini body and beach hair. She even admitted, in my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it, but the second things go down, no one cares. Soon, a pattern started forming. A, B, C, and I'm not only talking about breast size, but also the movie ratings she began to appear in. Could the two be somehow correlated? How could someone's physical appearance dictate their career? Career to such an extent. Well, the 47 year old actress would be the first to tell you that she believes her botched breast augmentation and liposuction played a major role in derailing her acting career. In 2004, Tara went under the knife with the hope of waking up to a new and improved version of herself. However, instead of the desired outcome, the surgery left her disfigured. The liposuction on her stomach resulted in a wrinkly and ripply torso, which understandably made her hesitant to wear bikinis. This in turn led to loss of numerous work opportunities. As if things couldn't get worse, Tara found herself at the mercy of the paparazzi when she experienced a classic Janet Jackson moment at P. Diddy's birthday party in 2004. The wardrobe malfunction caused widespread speculation about her sobriety, although she denies that intoxication played a role, claiming she simply wasn't aware that the strap had fallen. However, the delay in her actions to cover up was rather lengthy, leading to a lucrative payday for the paparazzi who captured the moment. Sadly, poor Tara was labeled as having the ugliest boobs in the world. Her breast augmentation in 2003 also turned out to be a botched job, leaving her with visible scars around her nipples and slightly deformed breasts. Not only was the American Pie actress embarrassed by her procedures becoming public, but she also endured humiliation in the worst way. Even men she dated felt compelled to comment on her breasts, suggesting that something was wrong and advising her to fix it. In an interview, Tara admitted that if she could go back in time, she would have never gone through with the surgeries. She initially opted for them because one breast was larger than the other, and her weight fluctuations caused her breasts to sag. Despite knowing that she was thin, she dreamed of having a six pack. After all, she is in Hollywood and had the means to do it. But these unfortunate events not only forced her to seek professional help and therapy to regain her confidence, but they also pushed her to research plastic surgeons and gather the courage to undergo corrective surgery in 2006. While her body was repaired, her mental health never fully recovered. Things took a turn for the worse in 2008 when Tara's friends and family staged an intervention, leading her to check into a rehab facility in Malibu. This renowned facility had treated other celebrities like Britney Spears and Lindsay Lohan. The 60-day detox program worked wonders for Tara, and she openly credited rehab with saving her life. Unfortunately, her sobriety didn't stand the test of time, as she was later seen intoxicated outside nightclubs, stumbling out of parties, and even spotted drinking at an airport where her flight parted without her. It seemed that Tara had finally found her footing when the B-movie sensation Sharknado hit the screens in 2016. Despite admitting that it was the worst script she had ever read, she trusted her instincts and accepted the lead role with a modest salary of $50,000. Little did she know that this decision would propel her career forward and lead to five thrilling sequels. Sharknado not only brought Tara the exposure she needed, but also rejuvenated her passion for acting. Riding the B-movie train, she immersed herself in the world of low-budget films, taking on project after project. Currently, her IMDb page posts an impressive 76 completed project and a staggering 18 upcoming ones. It's clear that Tara enjoys what she's doing and has found her niche in the industry. While Tara has embraced her role as the queen of B-movies, she also expressed her desire to break out of the mold and tackle more serious roles. She believes there's a whole other side of her that many people haven't seen yet, a side that's waiting to shine in a captivating and substantial role. It's undeniable that being typecast can be a challenge when you've lived a life reminiscent of most 
most of your characters. However, despite the obstacles, we have nothing but high hopes for Tara Reid. The success of the Sharknado franchise showcased her ability to captivate audiences and embrace the fun and campy nature of these films. Just when it seemed that Tara was getting her life back on track, the unexpected happened. TikTok became her worst enemy. Recently, she has been seen singing and dancing on the platform, leaving fans concerned about her well-being and also questioning whether she has undergone further cosmetic procedures, perhaps even on her face. The lack of information regarding her new appearance has sparked speculation, with theories ranging from more surgeries to excessive Botox, aging, or the toll of years of alcohol consumption on her body. It's safe to say that Tara wasn't the only party girl in Hollywood. In fact, she never really did anything wrong. She never landed in jail, never made a sex tape, or got a DUI. She simply enjoyed popping a bottle of champagne and dancing on tables once in a while. There's no crime in having a good time. This woman has endured a lot over the years, facing scrutiny for her wild behavior, body shaming, and bullying regarding her appearance and the constant mockery of her acting career. She also lived through the horrors of tabloid drama in the 2000s, a time when women were dissected for every move they made while men received praise for doing the same things. Is Tara's redemption period approaching? Will she rise from the ashes with a serious role that will leave us awestruck? Or will she eventually fade away and be forgotten? Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll be back with more transformation, so make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to receive notifications. My name is Katie. If you want to hear more of this voice, make sure to check me out on TikTok. Until then, I'll see you in another video.